Kevin with us with Spyro the Dragon and Spyro the Ignited Trilogy for the Switch. And without further ado, let's start the Peacekeeper's Homeworld. And in this particular place, we gotta find 200 gems, 3 dragons, and a dragon egg. And right off the bat, let's rescue our first dragon, which is Titan. Who is Titan, rather? Welcome to Peacekeepers. Look how our treasure has been stolen and turned against us. Please, recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure, got it! Oh, and another thing I forgot to show off too. We gotta get another, um, skill point here, which is scare six norks into tents. Good thing is, most of these norks in this place are chickens, much like they were in the artisan's home world. Though you get these ones right here that try to hit you with a cannonball, but they shouldn't be too hard to deal with. And the fodder in this area are jackrabbits, you can probably see right there. Okay, I see you. And there's one level in the Peacekeeper's World, Dry Canyon. Okay, let's get a few more butterflies while we're here. Cute bunnies. Kind of feel bad I have to fly them, but at the same time, though, it's important for me to get butterflies. Oh, wait, I thought I killed you! What? Okay. Okay, let's go scare some norks. Oh, he tried attacking me! Okay... There's three Norks scared. How dare you moon me, sir! And how dare you! That is not nice! Some rude Norks here. <laughs> Oh, I got the skill point. I must have scared some norks up ahead. Just to make sure. Yep. Skill point get. Okay. And we see another portal here to another world, which is Clifftown. Now, I do like all the levels in this particular world. Okay, let's try a few more norks. Again, some more rude ones. That one didn't feel like mooning me, but that one did. Get to see another balloonist. And another extra life. Get some more norks. Get you. Okay, let's rescue the dragon, who is Magnus. Hey, Spyro! Sparks the Dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. Quite a portly fellow, but friendly enough. <laughs> okay, I didn't think there was any Norks in there. Now let's talk to the balloonist. Magic Crafter's world is far away and very dangerous. Maybe if you find 1,200 stolen treasure, I'll show it to you. Yeah, we're just barely ha past halfway past that mark, but I wasn't ready to go to the Magic Crafters anyway. We still got this entire world to go through yet, and here's another. Here's the third and final regular regular world in the Peacekeepers Land, which is Ice Cavern. And you see these chests right here, the only way you can bust them open is with these cannonballs. Help of the camera, a camera would cooperate. You see that bullseye right there? Boom! You see that treasure right there? Boom! So a uh, strong chest over there. BAM! And another chest right there. 
And there we go! And here's the boss of the Peacekeeper's world, Dr. Shemp. And there's actually a skill point uh, uh, revolved around him. You have to actually beat him without taking damage, which I'm not even worried about that till we actually get there. And I love these pop-up chests. Okay, there's some more treasure right here. Now, if I saw Cacti do that after they were fried, I'd start running. <laughs> okay. Make sure I don't do anything stupid here. Just gotta get up here. Here's a Nork right here. And here's this world's flight level, which is Night Flight. Now, in the original trilogy, it was actually the easiest flight level, and I don't think in this version it's all that much harder, though with gliding the way it is, in my honest opinion. It could be a little bit tricky, if I remember correctly. Oh! Oops. Well, I didn't say this was gonna be a no damage run in the game. <laughs> it's kind of unfortunate, but whatever. And you see the Egg Thief right there? Shouldn't be too hard to deal with, just run up and flame him. And we have our third Dragon Egg. As far as Dragon Eggs, there are a total of 12 in this game. And oddly enough, all 12 Dragon Eggs can be found in the first three worlds in this game. They're not in any later worlds, which I think is kind of odd, but... Hey, I didn't design this game. But anyway, we just rescued Gunner. Well done, Spyro. Keep up the good work, and I know you'll fulfill your destiny. Destiny? I just want to kick some. Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure. Okay, that dragon looks awesome. I don't know what anybody else feels, but I love the look of that dragon. Now, this collide can be a little bit tricky, at least for me anyway, so let me see if I can actually get this first attempt. Oh, no! Wow. Okay. Now, in my practice run of this, I got it first try. Yeah, I really do not like gliding in this game. Now, we just gotta go back and try to do that all over again. Yeah, gliding is such a headache in this game. I don't know why they messed with gliding in this game. There is nothing wrong with it in the original version. I don't know why they tampered with it. Okay, we just barely made it, even when I ran off the edge there. Okay, we found all the treasure now as soon as we get all open up this locked tre uh, treasure chest. And there we go, 200 gems found, 100% level complete. And I do apologize, guys, for taking so much damage here. I was not anticipating that, but anyway, let's shrug it off. And the next time I will see you guys, I will take on the first level of the Peacekeeper's World, which is Dry Canyon. So, but thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'll be seeing you guys again next time.